When you begin work on a website, especially if you're a beginner, the concept of hiding certain things on your site based on the device may be a little bit strange and foreign. Why on earth do I want to do that? Why do I want something to display only on a desktop version, other things to display on tablet version, and other things not to display on a cell phone? Now, if I look at this current page that I have in front of me, and this is how it will look on a Mac or on a PC, if you were working on a desktop, you will see that we have these services or these elements over here. It's a very nice page, nothing wrong with it. The thing is that when you start going into other devices, your screen becomes smaller, especially if you're working with smaller devices. Let's just have a look, for example, at the Apple iPad. The moment we go into the iPad, well, this currently is our vertical display, horizontal display, nothing wrong. It's similar to what a desktop display would be. But you may start to think that things here look a little bit squashed. Now, what you can do is you can go into the mobile responsiveness settings within Brizzy and you can change that. But what you also can do is you can tell Brizzy that whenever somebody is viewing this page on a tablet, I don't want these three elements to appear. The reason may be that you have another page with all your services, you just want to have a taste for them, and you don't want people to get lost on your page. The same for a cell phone. If I choose a cell phone, let's just choose a Google Pixel. Now you begin to understand why sometimes you may want to hide something for a specific page, because as I scroll down with this one, it's like a long list of one after the other, and it just goes on and on and on. Especially if we go down here to where we have our brands, you can see this becomes quite a lot. Maybe not displaying all of the brands would be a good idea, just one or two or three, so that people don't get scroll fatigue. I guess there's a word like that, scroll fatigue, right? How can we do that? Right, let's get out of here and let's go into Brzy. And I'm going to edit this page. And here we are. So everything is looking fine. This is exactly how we want the page to look. Go down here to where it says mobile view and then you click on tablet. And you can see we have our columns over here with our services within that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this column here and click on it. And you will see in response of you, your toolbar at the top will only give you those options that you can apply within this responsive view. So there's nothing to confuse you. You've got here more settings, which we are not interested in at this moment. And then you've got this eye, disable on tablet. I'm going to click on it and observe what happens to my entire element when I click on it. It gets blurred out. This is an indication that there is something here but that within this view, which is currently tablet view, it will not display. You can do the same for these two, click on it, click on the eye to disable, and the same for the last one. And that's all I will change here because if I look here at my logos, they are still nicely aligned in one line. They don't take up too much real estate. Now I will go to my mobile view. Here, I'm going to also disable these three. At the bottom, I click on the column and again on the eye to disable it. And I do the same for the others. Now they have been disabled, but I'm also going to disable these three brands at the bottom. Well, let's just make it two so that we leave three. So I'm going to choose this one, disable, and also for the second one, disable. Let's quickly take tally of what we've done. In our mobile view, we have disabled the display for these three and for these two brands. In our tablet, we've only disabled the three columns here with these services. Let's go to our desktop view and then we update to make sure we've captured those changes. Let's put it to the test to see how this has worked. I'm going to click here on preview. And the first thing we can do is choose a device. Let's start with desktop. So we're going to, let's choose your iMac Retina 27 inch display. And what you're going to see is what you see on the right is what you will see on the left, right? You see everything here. And as I scroll through it, everything appears. Now let's choose a tablet. 
Apple iPad. And do you see? On the left, we only have these three services, these three elements. These three at the bottom do not appear. On our desktop view, they are there, but on our tablet, they aren't there. For the rest, everything is the same. Now let's switch over to a mobile, OnePlus. Again, if we scroll down, we see these three at the top. Under them, nothing. And then when we get to our brand logos, we see one, two, three, and then it goes to the bottom element. And this way you can control how much you display on a tablet and on mobile view and control the real estate available for those devices. What if you do not want something to display on your desktop? And that is quite possible. Let's go have a look at where you will find that option. We go back into Brizzy. Let's say, uh, let's choose a block. Let's say we choose this entire block over here. You do not want this block to display on your desktop view. Click on the block settings, go to settings, and then more settings, advanced. And over here, you will see the option show on desktop. And you select it, and now it is blurred out on desktop view which means it will not display when people view it on their Mac or PC. You can also do that for individual elements. For example, if we say we want this guy not to appear, click on him, go to settings, more settings, advance, again, show on desktop and disable it. And he's blurred out for eternity. Let's update that. And then we go and view it again on the front end just to make sure that's exactly how it will display. Go here, let's update this part. Let's scroll up just from the top so we can go through it. So everything the way it used to be. And then you can see here, when we get to the, some of our awesome clients, it does not appear on the desktop, but it still appears here on our mobile display. And if we go down here to the bottom, where we have a testimonial, we do not see the guy's face, but we see it here in the mobile display. And that is how you can disable the various elements on desktop, tablet, and mobile view within both the free and pro versions of Brizzy.